All right, let's go on the record. CR 21 388. This is State of Nebraska versus Dolezal. We are set for sentencing today. Do we have the. Did he fill out the sex offender registration form? Yes, Your Honor, I believe he did. Okay. Sent, not, sent over to uh, your chambers. I haven't seen it. I know I have it um, electronically. I can email it over. Um, okay. He also if filled he... out a SORA uh, form in, in his uh, Sarby County case, and I know that one was filed. Okay. So he has been advised of all of those requirements. Okay. And Mr. Dolezal, you've been advised of the requirements of the Nebraska Sex Offender Registration Act? Yes, Your Honor. And you understand that that will be part of your sentence here today? Yes, Your Honor. Any questions about that or anything? No, Your Honor. No? Okay. All right. I did receive a pre-sentence investigation <coughs> report. Mr. Dolezal, have you had a chance to look at that or at least talk it over with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Anything we need to do before we go ahead with sentencing today? No, Your Honor. No. Not from the defense. Okay. Recommendation from the state. Thank you, Your Honor. We're here for sentencing today on two counts of attempted online enticement, which are class two felonies, and one count or four counts of possession of child porn, which are two eight felonies. Uh, prior to these cases, uh, the defendant had minimal, if any, criminal history. However, over the short time of five to six years, he's, he's collected quite a criminal history, very serious in nature. He was um, sentenced a week or two ago in Sarkey County for sexual assault of a child. He received, I think, 20 to 40 years in that case. He has pending in Douglas County now multiple counts of first degree sexual assault of a child and then he's facing um, sentence here today for these, these particular cases. Um, the defendant states in his pre-sentence that he was in a position um, he's to help people, not to harm people, at, with, as a patrolman with the state patrol, and he actually did the opposite of that. He used his position with the patrol to try to find his victims. He would talk to them immediately after he snapchatted them and befriended these victims. He would talk to them about his job, telling them he's a patrolman. He would uh, send them pictures of his car. He would talk to them about their cases, his cases, his arrests that he would make. Um, all in which to try to get these young victims to become interested in him. So he used his position of power and authority to, to find his victims in this case. One of the things he stated in his pre-sentence that I found um, interesting was his statement that um, this is not who he is. Actions speak louder than words, John, and this is who he is. He was evaluated by uh, Kirk Newring, Dr. Kirk Newring, and was found to have a paraphilic disease where he needs to have, in my opinion, pretty significant treatment in order to overcome his issues. But when you are warned twice by the patrol to watch what you're doing with your social media and who you're fronting, when you're Googling constantly on your phone, high school girls, high school students in Gearing High School, you're Snapchatting all of these young females, and this did not happen in a vacuum, Your Honor. You have a Sarpy County, you have these cases. There were multiple Snapchat conversations with females on his Snapchat account. They couldn't be identified to even know if they were underage or not. So to say that this is not who he is is contrary to what his actions are. Um, He's tarnished the reputation of the patrol. He's tarnished in these victims their opinions of officers. Um, MK, in her statements to the police, stated that uh, she thought when he asked her to meet up with him that he was kidding. I asked her about that, and she said, well, you wouldn't expect a patrolman to do those things. That's why I thought he was kidding. She's now changed her mind, and she has distrust of law enforcement, all because of Mr. Dolezal's actions here. The state in this case is asking for a period of incarceration. He's already sentenced 20 to 40 years in Sarpy County. These, Your Honor, are separate offenses. These are separate victims. And the state is asking that the sentences imposed today be con consecutive to one another and consecutive to Sarpy County. That only seems to be reasonable and fair based upon his actions, the seriousness of the offenses, and to do um, less than that would depreciate the seriousness of the offense. And so we would ask for a period of incarceration to be run consecutive. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any response from this defense? Yes, Your Honor, thank you. I'll uh, be brief. I think the pre-sentence investigation report was extremely thorough. It was uh, lengthy um, and detailed, um, and we don't have any additional deletions or corrections to the same. Um, 
However, I do want to respond briefly to a couple of things the state said, Your Honor. Um, treatment, number one. Uh, Dr. Kirk uh, Neuring uh, did file an evaluation, did conduct an evaluation and included that in, in uh, uh, the pre-sentence report. Um, I won't go into the details of that as I know the uh, court parties have had an opportunity to review it. Um, he does need treatment, absolutely. He agrees with that. Um, in fact, uh, uh, at uh, one point in time I visited Mr. Bilbozal and his um, first statement to me upon walking into the jail to visit with him was, can I get an evaluation? What, what, what can I do? What can I do to rectify this situation? Um, albeit better late than uh, never, um, at, at the bare minimum, Your Honor, he has recognized that. He does agree that he needs uh, some sort of treatment. Um, I do agree with the state that it is a significant level of treatment that he needs, and uh, he's willing to do it, obviously. <clears throat> um, Your Honor, with regard to consecutive versus concurrent sentences, uh, these actions took place right around the same time as the uh, Sarpy County uh, uh, case. Uh, they were delayed significantly um, several years ago. Uh, in fact, the Sarpy County case actually arose out of the investigation from this case. Um, essentially, a lot of the same actions were taking place in between this county and uh, Sarpy County. Uh, we would ask that a concurrent sentence uh, be imposed in this matter. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Dolezal is, is going to be incarcerated for a significant amount of time. He knows that. Um, he, he hasn't uh, strayed from that reality in any way, shape, or form. Uh, like I said, I, I think he does recognize that uh, uh, his actions are abysmal, uh, and he's looking forward to rectifying that to the best of his ability. Uh, Again, albeit better late than, uh, than never. Um, outside of that, uh, Your Honor, again, we would ask for a concurrent sentence in this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Dolezal, anything you'd like to say? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I just want to apologize to you know, the victims for any damage I may have caused um, to the families and friends of the victims who no doubt had to you know, give them support during this time, and to the courts and law enforcement officers who had to work on this as well. There's nothing I can say here that will you know, undo the damages that my actions have caused. I'm just ashamed of myself that you know, I lacked the strength and the courage years ago to you know, seek help for this. And I realize now how selfish that train of thought was. I was more thinking about you know, what would happen to me if I came forward and talked to someone about this, that, whether that was you know, getting kicked out of the military or not being able to pursue uh, my job with the patrol, and I realized how selfish that uh, that train of thought was. Instead of thinking about what would, you know the negative effect I would have on uh, the victims' lives, I plan on doing everything and anything I can while I'm incarcerated. All the programs, all the classes, anything that will make sure that I never do something like this again. That's all for Thank you. All right, I've listened to and considered the marks of your attorney as well as the county attorney. I've carefully considered the pre-sentence investigation report. Arriving at your sentence, I've considered your age, your mentality, your education, your experience, your social and cultural, cultural background, as well as your past criminal record. You know, uh, there's not a lot for me to say, I don't think. I think the PSI speaks for itself. Very difficult PSI to get through. Um, you know, as the prosecution said, you use your position of authority to to harm children. I think anything less in a period of incarceration would appreciate the seriousness of the offense and promote a disrespect for the law. So it is a sentence and judgment of the court that you be in prison in an institution of the Nebraska Department of Correctional Services on count one to an indeterminate term of not less than 10 years, not more than 12 years. You are given credit for the three days already served. Count, I think it's three. It's also in the, the enticement count not less than 10 years, not more than 12 years. Count five, which is a child pornography, not less than five years, not more than eight years. Count nine, also the child pornography, not less than five years, not less, not more than eight years. Count 12, not less than five years, not more than eight years. And the last count, 
not less than five years, not more than eight years. All sentences are ordered to be run, ordered served to be run consecutively. This sentence will also run consecutively to the sentence given in Sarpy County. You also, you are also ordered to comply with the Nebraska Sex Offender Registration Act. Assuming you lose no good time, I do need to advise you that you will be parole eligible in a period of 20 years. Your mandatory discharge will be in a period of 28 years. You are mandated the custody of the sheriff to be taken to the appropriate location. Thank you.